and how is it going? Uh, this time, instead of destroying a power supply, I have to swap the hard drive on this Dell something something. I don't remember the model off the top of my head. Inspiron N4010. Uh, the fun part about this one is, well, hold on, let me get back to it. The hard drive on this com customer's computer was going bad. It didn't completely go bad, but it was on its way. It was slow, you know, really didn't want to cooperate, whatever, so fuck it. It's not completely dead, but it will be dead soon enough. So, skip it, let's just save the hassle, swap the hard drive. So, cool. Let's get started. Um, yes. Remove the battery. Now, the fun one about this one. Oh, it was already unlocked. Fun one about this one is, uh, it's not like traditional computer stuff. It's, uh, let me see. There's only one back panel back here. And that only has the RAM. Yeah, only the RAM in that slot. And uh, that's it. Now, normally, I, I wouldn't even care about recording this, I guess. But there's no disassembly videos doing this out there. So I might as well be that one cool guy that does that. And it helps out other technicians, potential technicians, do-it-yourselfers, whatever the fuck. Um, yeah, you don't have to worry. Just take all these screws out of the bottom. They are all the same size. So mixing them up, don't worry about it. Uh, only ones that are different back here are the ones for the um, battery. But those are much smaller. You won't mix those up. If you do, whatever. So, just remove all the screws. Shit, this thing's squeaky. Uh, that's what you get with these things, though. Come on, grip it. There we go. I didn't quite want to break the bad news to the customer, but I had to. Uh, but, sh shit, for how much it, it uh gave a hassle of taking it apart. Uh, I almost want to say it's more than 50 bucks. Although, we're going to stick with 50 bucks because hopefully it works afterward. Because it does work now. We put in a test drive to test it to make sure that's it before we go ahead and be like, okay, we have to replace the drive. But yeah, we do have to replace the drive. There's however many screws back here. I've not counted them. You just got to take them all out. Don't worry about anything else. Just take them all out. Let's see. Yes, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Maybe I'm bad, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's more than 14, maybe it's less than 15. I cannot yet take the drive out. Uh, now, okay, it seems I'm on to the fun part now. Oh, let's, make, let's not force that one. The fun part now, uh, I gotta pop all this out. I'm trying to remember whether I popped it. I think I took the keyboard out first. Uh, it's been a good few days since I last... Did this, but the fun part is oh, okay. Make sure it's safe to remove that. I like this, this is convenient. It has a little tab that holds the ribbon cable in. Pop that out ever so gently. Set that off to the side where you can forget about it. In fact, let's forget about that drive. Um, 
Okay, there's no screws immediately in this vicinity. Well, let's go ahead and get all this uh, out and taken care of. There's this little plastic piece. Let's set that off right there. It's not going anywhere. And take out these four ribbons. They are, uh, there's three here in this little spot right here. Lift the tabs up ever so gently. You can easily and effortlessly t break those um, out of their little slot thingies. And you can lose them. And you do not want to do that, especially if it's uh, a customer. Which, of course, this is this case. Uh, I already disassembled this once. Because there is a drive in here. It was just a test drive. Um, we advise them, you know what, if you want to, you can have it with this small little 40 gig drive. I think it was 40 gig. And, you know, be done with it. But these days, you want the drive size. So, ever so gently, there's tabs around here. Just gently pry them up. Don't force anything. You do not want to break anything. And, you know, just try to gently pry it out. Which I'm going to do now. I am in the process of doing Allow me to concentrate for a moment. Here we go. Almost there. Are we almost there? I sure hope so. This should all come out ever so. There's tabs up here. Now we have to pop out. I have to pop out. We all can do this together. I almost feel. Oh, yes. I almost forgot about that one. Here we go. Screws right here. Make sure to remove all of these screws. Not some of them. All of them. There's these ones back here in the battery area. I almost forgot about those. And what you want to do, do not lose your screws. You know, try to organize them and try to remember how they all go back place you don't want to you know botch it up and the screws and such I don't really know if I have to remove these or not but I really don't think so but you know what I just want to be on the safe side while I'm down here and I want to make sure that you know it's all good okay there we go And, cool, that should be good. The, the front top pad, bezel, whatever, should come out with no issue at all now. And let's ensure that. And there we go. Awesome. And it looks like one of the screw things here, I'll have to find out where it was, came out. So you always do want to watch for that as well. I'll find it when we put it back together. Set that off to the side. You don't need to dabble with that for the moment. And here we're at the... Coming to the last portion, kind of. Not really. There's always more to go. There was something holding this in place, but there should not, but not be anything. It seems it was just that top panel, so that's off too. You also want to watch for the screws that are here, because after I got it all back together, I realized, hey, I have extra screws. Three right here. Make sure they go back there when you put it back together, because I forgot to do it when I last put it together. This time, I should remember correctly. I sure hope. Otherwise, I have to take it back apart. So, don't let me forget. Now, let's see how to organize the rest of this. And here we go. I try to keep it all organized, all nice, neat, whatever. Now, the dreadful part about this, just be really fucking careful. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough because... 
know, it's easy, because this is, whoever fucking designed this model, Dell, the, what is it, I want to try to recall the 10, the one zero. can't emphasize that enough, fucking idiot designer. To swap a fucking hard drive, you have to make it this fucking complicated, sir. That's, that's fucking retarded as hell. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, so anyway, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, screws we have to take out of this portion of the board so let's set those aside in a place that uh we won't forget them these are all the same size as i recall the only one that's different is this one up here that is a ground for this the lcd screen but really i think that stays with the little thing that it comes with so you really won't be you have to keep track of that one because it's going to stay all together. Uh, I think I, those these screws right here may be a little different. Maybe I'm not completely certain about that one, but hey, all these get removed because you cannot. Uh, you have to take this heat sink out here because otherwise it holds the board in. Okay? It like overlaps the board, so to remove the board, you have to remove that. Uh, not heat sink. The the cooling fan. And it helps keep the board in place, I suppose, but really, still, I should not have to uh, remove the fucking motherboard just to replace a hard drive. It should be no... Okay, here we go. We're going to remove the, the cooling fan, set that off to the side to forget about it for the moment. Um, I don't think anything else is holding this board in place. So let's get to the fun part, and I have a customer, so I shall be right back. 